Shalom brothers and sisters. So interesting that this story that I'm about to share with you is not trending everywhere in Christian and evangelical circles. It's very much a footnote in the news that's cycling over the last few days. And it should be a highlight and making a lot of Christians and evangelicals think and decide where you stand with this kind of situation. GOP closed out day one of its national convention with a prayer to a pagan god, Waheguru. Now I'm going to attach a piece of that prayer at the end of this video so you can look for yourselves and see what I'm talking about. Christian observers were troubled by the Republican Party allowing a non-Christian prayer on the opening night of the convention while knowing <clears throat> that Catholics and evangelicals comprise a large portion of the base. Last night's opening session of the GOP National Convention, which earlier in the day had officially nominated Donald J. Trump as the party's 2024 presidential candidate, closed out with a prayer to a God other than Jesus Christ, the genderless God of the Sikh religion that believes in rebirth and karma. High-profile Republican attorney Harmeet Dillon took to the podium, covered her head, and chanted the Ardas prayer to Waheguru, our one true God, seeking blessing upon and protection for the candidacy of former President Trump. America must turn to the triune God, not to Allah, not to Vishnu, not to Waheguru, Zaislav declared in a subsequent post on X, adding, Jesus Christ alone is Lord, King, and Judge of all the earth. We must repent and trust in Him, or else expect righteous judgment. Harmeet Dillon thanks the Chardi Kala spirit to close out our RNC convention, Bradley continued. She prayed, Dear Waheguru, our one true God, <laughs> and then you take into account that Vance's wife is a practicing Hindu, this seems to be an accepting thing in the new RNC. Now, my problem with this is manyfold. There's many things in this. And I would put myself, in popular opinion, on the extreme side of this because I am sold out 100% to one God, Jesus Christ. There is no other name. So, God alone. I will not sit if I was the candidate or if I was a representative or anything part of this convention, I would not have sat there while she prayed to a false god. I would have got up and left or objected. I would not have sat there while she called that the one true God when there is only one true God and it's not Waheguru. I would not show any acceptance or allowance or respect to a false god when I know there is one God who sees all all the time and watches all, I will not be seen by my God to be allowing other gods. Again, I'm on the extreme side. I'm more on the Elijah side where Elijah gathers them all and gets his axe. I'm not saying go and kill them. I'm saying stand up for the truth and speak the facts that there is only one God and it is not their false gods. It is not Allah. It is not Vishnu. It is not Waheguru. We will speak the name of God. This is the name by which he is known for all his generations. Yahweh. Behold the hand, behold the nail. Which speaks of Jesus Christ and his sacrifice and redemptive act on the cross. This, in my opinion, is unacceptable. It is allowing evil in to show that we accept your evil because we need that support. That is not acceptable. You are either standing for God with God's support, 100% reliant on Him to move mountains, or you're playing the devil's game. And that is my opinion on this. Shalom. Dear Waheguru, our one true God, we thank you for creating America as a unique haven on this earth where all people are free to worship according to their faith. We seek your blessings and guidance for our beloved country. Please bless our people with wisdom as they vote in the upcoming election, and please bless with humility, honesty, skill, and integrity all those who conduct the election. Finally, we thank you for the Chardikala spirit 
that we have witnessed in President Trump. That is, the tireless and uplifting, sp uplifting spirit that is sustained even in the face of violent adversity, like a founding father centuries ago. And we thank you, dear God, for protecting his life. We thank you for his examples of nirbha, fearlessness, and nirvair, the absence of hate when faced with vitriol. These examples of extraordinary calm 